Welcome back to my channel. I am Angela. If you're new, my channel is all about faith. Sometimes I cook food. I like fashion from here and there. And it's all about my favorite things. So, if you haven't already, make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and join the family. So, today I want to talk about becoming the woman of your dreams. Sometimes we get mixed up in life. Sometimes we just go through life and we forget all about who we are. We forget all about what we're purposed to do. And like most women, we sometimes just lose ourselves in people, in things. And we push aside all our dreams and all our goals because we're taking care of family and we're taking care of friends and we're taking care of jobs. So, yeah, let's talk about becoming the woman of your dreams, your dreams, your dreams, your goals, your aspirations, your purpose. So. Let's get into it. The first thing is love yourself. Sometimes I know it's hard to do and it's, you know, kind of hard to just say, I love me. And sometimes you don't always love you, but you need to find that thing, find that desire inside of you that makes you want to love the woman that you are love the woman that god created you to be love yourself and getting to love yourself is loving god and loving what he says about you and who he says that you are it's it's easy sometimes for us to love others because that's built inside of us by nature we are nurturers by God's design, we are nurturers. We're the caregivers as women. But what about caring about us? What about caring about how we look and how we feel? So it starts with loving you. And loving you starts with eternal. Loving who you are in your mind. Loving who you are in your spirit. Loving what God says about you. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You're a woman of God. You're a woman of faith. You're a woman of integrity. You're a woman of power and presence. You're a woman of dignity and class. That is who God says you are. So, love all your flaws. Love the way you move. Love the way you walk. Love the way you talk. For a long time, I didn't love like my voice. I didn't love my speaking voice. But, you know what? We'll find anything. To pick ourselves apart. We'll find any little flaw. And some people love the sound of my voice. Some people love that I sometimes talk slow or talk country because I'm from Mississippi. So uh, a lot of people love that. But I always like, Ugh, I hate to hear myself talk. Especially on videos. I'm like, ugh. But I'm beginning to even love that. And that thing is what makes Angela. That thing is what makes me unique. Um, I didn't like like the moles on my face. And that makes me unique. That makes me, you know, different. That's a part of my heritage. That's a part of my mom's heritage. That's just what it's going to be unless I have them removed. And it's not that serious for me. Unless they call, just, you know, take over my whole face that's a different story but i love myself and sometimes that's hard for us as women loving yourself that's the first step in becoming the woman of your dream um the next thing i think is just know yourself know who you are when you walk in a room be sure of yourself be sure what you bring to the table. Um, Julia Roberts, um, I talk about this often. She is one of my favorite uh, actresses. Um, I love all her movies. Um, and a lot of them are just old classics. Uh, Pretty Woman, Runaway Bride, um, 
my best friend's wedding. She was just like the go-to girl for romance comedy um, back in the day. So I kind of fell in love with um, her movies. And in Runaway Bride, she didn't, the simplest thing that she didn't know that she liked, and that was how she liked eggs. And I often share this story because that's just a small part of not knowing who you are. She didn't know that she liked her eggs a certain way until she, you know, put all the different eggs. Everybody she, you know, dated. She, if they liked the, the sauce scramble, that's how she ate them. If they liked Egg Benedict, that's how she liked them. If they liked Sunny Side Up, that's how she liked them. But it wasn't until she cooked eggs all different ways that she started knowing who she was, what she liked. And I know that's a small thing, but be confident even in the food you like. Be confident even in the fragrance that you like. You, you're learning yourself. It's not about what somebody else likes. Be confident in the color. If you don't like the color pink on you, don't wear it. Because somebody else likes the color pink on you. Until we begin to know what we like, it's only uh, we will only begin to be sure of ourselves. Be confident in who we are. Be confident in who God called us to be. Learn yourself. What food do I like? What color do I like? You know? What surroundings do I like? What people do I like? Because every personality it doesn't agree with your personality. Some personalities rub you the wrong way. Some personalities make you fearful. Some personalities is it too much. If you're in a room and you're uncomfortable, leave. That is being confident in who you are. Know yourself. Know yourself. Number three, trust yourself. A lot of people um, take this out of context when you say trust yourself. Not saying just trust yourself and don't trust God, but trust who God made you to be. If God gives you an idea, trust that. If your first thought is run, run. <laughs> Whatever it is, every good and perfect thing comes from God. So if you got an idea that's good, if you got that an idea that's going to serve others, trust that. A lot of times we move different because we don't trust ourselves. We don't trust the uh, the capability that we have. We don't trust that we can do it. A lot of times we move, uh, we allow fear to take our opportunities. We will allow, allow fear to destroy our dreams. We will allow fear to uh, remove us from business opportunities. Move us from a career. You have to trust that God has given you the capability to survive in this world. If you're still here, trust that God has a purpose. And whatever that purpose is, trust that you can do it. Because once I fall in love with myself, long, once I love the person that God created me to be, and I begin to know her, then I can trust the decisions that you make. Especially when they line, they line up with God. Trust that God has you in whatever decision that He placed inside of you, or whatever thing that He puts in front of you, Trust that you can overcome it and you can overtake it and win. Number four, respect yourself. Respect yourself. Oh, that seems easy. I can do that. I respect myself. No, a lot of times we don't. We let people mistreat us. We let people talk to us any kind of way. We don't stand up for ourselves. And standing up for yourself doesn't mean getting altercations or getting in um, situations that will cause confrontations or arguments or anything like that. Respecting yourself is simply removing yourself. 
simply removing yourself. I don't I don't have to be in a place where I'm not comfortable. I don't have to be in a situation where I'm not comfortable. Respecting yourself doesn't always mean uh, uh, attire or, uh, uh, you know, people think when you talk about respecting yourself, oh, don't wear, don't wear cleavage. Uh, your cleavage, don't show your cleavage, don't wear your skirt too short. That comes when knowing who you are. When you know who you are, you're not going to show what all you got. Respecting yourself is not only respecting how you look, but respecting the way, allowing people to respect you, demanding respect from others. Respecting yourself, not uh, being uh, misused, not being taken advantage of. All of that comes with respecting yourself. You have to respect that what God has placed inside of you. It is God. I am in the image of Him. He created me this way. And you are going to treat me as such. I'm going to walk with respect. I'm going to walk with uh, as a woman of class. As a woman of integrity. You know what? I've come across women. And some women that you just don't have uh, no excuse but to trust them. The way they move. The way they walk. The way they talk. I mean anything less would be crazy. Because the way they present themselves, you don't have any choice but to respect them. You ever been in a place where you don't see no uh, women, and even the, even the men looking at the women, but even the the men feel intimidated to even approach them any type of way because what they exude, the presence that they have, the way they move, it don't have to. You don't have to be loud. You don't have to be the loudest person in the room. You don't have to be the flashiest person in the room. But because you respect yourself and you know who you are and you love yourself, people are gonna do it too. They just gonna fall in line. We talk about becoming a woman of your dreams. Take care of yourself. Not just your outer part. It's just not talking about I, I got to have long flowy hair. I got to have on tons of makeup. I got to have nails galore. I got to have my eyelashes. I got to have on the des best designer of this. No, take care of yourself from the inside out. If you know that you're not eating right, start eating right. If you know that you need to get more active, get more active. If you know that God has charged you to do things, you got to be in health, good health, to do those things. Make sure you go to the doctor. Make sure you're taking vitamins. Make sure you're drinking water. Make sure that, you know, you're having checkups and all the things that you're supposed to do. Make sure your mind is in a good state. Make sure you pull away from the noise and pull away from social media and not get yourself so bogged up in nonsense and uh, conversations that don't empower you and don't inspire you. Take care of you. Take care of you so you can stay full so, and so you can pour out. Because as women of faith, women of integrity, women of class, women of inspiration, women of, uh, women of God, we have to continue to fill our cup so we can pour into people. And you can't pour from an empty cup. You can't pour being sick. You can't pour being tired. Make sure you get enough rest. Make sure you turn off the TV. Make sure you continue to read and find stuff to learn. It's never too late and you're never too old to take care of you. Becoming the woman of your dreams. Educate yourself. Learn new things. Sometimes we get stuck in... Okay, I've been to I've been to high school. I graduated high school. I've been to college. I graduate college. I'm good. I don't have to learn. Continue to be a student of life. Continue to be a student of of the word. Continue to be a student. Just learning something new. I'm interested in learning uh, Spanish. And I I put it down and I pick it back up and I put it down and I pick it back up. But I really want to learn that language. So I got to be a student. And YouTube is a, a melting pot 
for learning anything that you want to learn. It doesn't always be about enrolling into a school. You can learn from anything. Always continue to read something. And not just social media. Not just catchy quotes. Read. Read to build up your mind and learn something every day. Make it a point to learn something new and learn something fresh every day. My last, um, my last, I, I, you know, sometimes you just lose, lose your train of thought. My last one is, and people might think this is crazy, but even as a married woman, date yourself. Still away, still away, little small moments. Um, fix up your bathroom, real nice. Bubble bath, candlelight, nice drink, whatever your choice of drink is. Tea, coffee, wine, champagne, water, whatever it is. Nice bubble bath. Date yourself, get that time. Take yourself to lunch. A lot of times people have a problem going out to lunch or dinner by themselves. Still away. Take a, just a walk around your neighborhood. Just spend time with you. Because you're getting to know yourself. You're loving yourself. You're taking care of yourself. You're learning who you are. You're trusting yourself. All of these things will put you in a position to becoming the woman of your dreams, the woman that God has called you to be. And it's just small steps. Know who you are. Love yourself. Trust the person that God has created you to be. And take care of that person. And when you take care of that person, constantly educate that person in who, in who God says that you are. And still away for quiet moments and date yourself. And I guarantee you those little steps will take you into becoming the woman of your dreams. I love you. I love you. I love you all. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with somebody who you feel that may need it. And whatever you do, love God, love people, serve God third people. I'll see you in the next video. My schedule, I'm going to try to be Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. So, I will, this is Wednesday, so I will see you Friday. Bye!